What is up guys? So, like I say every day, at the shop, clearly. So today, um, uh, what are we doing today? <laughs> so we're gonna be working on DJ Sylvia. Uh, we're gonna go pick up some piping for the intake, start cleaning up the wiring, get all together. And then we're also gonna go up to Bobby G's house today. Uh, he needs some help wiring up his gators on his new SC300. It's a really cool car, it's 1J swaps and everything, so I'm excited to show that off. And we're also gonna pick up a new door for the E36 because as you can see, this door is duffed right there. I know you guys probably haven't noticed it too much in videos and the whole inside of the door is gutted. There's no motor, no track or anything. So it's easier for me just to replace the whole door and Bobby G still has the green door off his old vert. It will be green, but I don't really care because the car is already four different colors and it's getting painted anyways. Whatever. The PO box this morning and actually got a package from another subscriber, which is super sick. Uh, there's no note because I think he sent it directly here, so I don't know who to give credit to, but if you're out there, please comment. Thank you so much. Look how cool this is. Sent me new training mounts for the E36. These are just like an upgrade stiffened mount because there is a lot of play in like my old my old OEM training mount. So this is gonna, it's gonna help alleviate a lot of the play within the tranny. And look at that, they're sick, made in the USA. You can't beat that. So whoever sent this, thank you so, so much. I'm probably gonna throw these in very, very soon. I really appreciate this. You guys have been hooking me up so heavy with the E36 and I love it. I really appreciate it so much, guys. Really means a lot to me that you guys support it so heavy. You guys are just awesome. I have the best subs ever. But we're gonna wait till DJ shows up, which he should be here like any minute. We're gonna go to Hagrid's Bay and steal some piping because uh, Orion has like a plethora of three inch piping from when they did the truck and that's what we need for the intake. Speak of the Donald, he's here. You quit. What up, buddy? Hey, Donald. What's good? Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't notice already, I have a giant freaking pimple on my face. All right, yes, it's killing me. It's Don't driving me insane. It. I, I kind of. I pick did. at mine all the time. It's, it's so, so bad, bad. guys. <laughs> I, I'm gonna edit this and literally just cringe the whole time I'm editing. So I apologize, but Cam's here. Woo, baby. <laughs> What's good, man? What is oh, up, buddy? It's nice to up? see you. What up, man? What's up, bud? Big camera, man. Big camera. Right? You got a big camera, too. Yeah, no, I'm not used to being on camera right now, dude. I'm just doing my office breaks really quick for him. Camera here to steal your stuff. Take my stuff? Yeah. Why? Because we need it. Go ahead, take it. You know I'm a good friend. Go take it. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful. All right, we're going to make this into DJ's new intake. Sounds good? Sounds good. Bye, Cam. It was a pleasure Bye. to see you. See you for the next couple months anyway. Come on. Shut up. Come down more. Doto says what? What? What are you doing? Putting my brakes on, but this previous owner did a bad move. What do you do? They clipped the back lines, like with the hard line in it, and now it's rusted. So I got all three except for this guy. See, he broke it off like Ew. inside and it's rotted, and I already slipped one bit of the So thread. you might need a new soft line? I thought you had an extra soft line. I don't think so. I think you do. Mm. Remember your other set of brakes that you have for this car? You had another These set, are didn't you? the other set of brakes. Ew. Ew. Little bear, little bear, little bear, little bear. Drew! Yo. Happy birthday, Drew Tube. Oh. How old are you now, Drew Tube? 22 years okay. old. 22. I'm old now. You're an old man. I got you a quick gift, but I messed it up. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. So hyped on those. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, that's so, man. Thank Always. you so much. What are you this doing? Festive. Today's our last day with the Farewell. Weed, so. Oh. Might as well. Oh, she smoked one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He scraped it! This so cute. All right. Since Jip's here, we're working on the budget hatch. I'm using a pair of pliers where I shouldn't be. Uh, we're I have line wrenches. <laughs> we're installing the slave cylinder so Jip can actually, you know, use the transmission. So, all right, let's just take a second to look at how perfect HP Logic's new 180SX is. Look at this. Ready? Boom. Stock SR. You cannot get. Look at that. SR in its natural habitat. It's beautiful. 
and they got the coolest GTST ever. It comes with like literally, literally everything on it is HKS. It blows my mind. I want it so bad. I wish I could afford this right now. Make sure to go check out their website. I'll put the link in the description because these cars are absolutely beautiful. Hurry up and go buy them before someone else does. DJ. Yeah. How badass is this GTST? All the HKS parts on it. Oh my god. Look at that. Is that a Bolton cage? What? When are we going to Florida? Every little good. I want this so bad. Trying to read these intakes on SRs are always such a pain in the ass, especially with an aftermarket turbo. Just because now you got everything in the way. Get the power steering line and all the boost lines and everything. So that should basically do it right there. We just gotta find the right coupler to step it down and it's done. So we have to figure out an intake setup for- Oh man. So we have to figure out an intake setup for him just because the math is just way too close to the turbo. It's literally on the turbo. And uh, the tubs don't really allow us to have a lot of room near it. So we might have to do some crazy ugly thing, but whatever gets us hitting. Maybe we'll go, uh, actually we can convert his thing to speed density like very easily. We should do that. So until we get the fan on this, we'll keep us away from the turbo so we can get it all tuned up nice. But whatever, just temporary. Uh, there's really no really good place to put the intake with a clutch fan on, which Jip wants to run. So if you go speed in, so we can just put the filter right in the turbo. It'll be nice. So luckily, RJ works at GM. He can get, he can get us a GM map sensor like tomorrow. All I have to do is weld a bug in and uh, pin, uh, uh, pin the sensor into the ECU and easy peasy. Big Jim, how's the brakes going? <laughs> He's saving the day. We're working on it. Jip's dad out here saving the day. They're bleeding the brakes. Uh, do you guys bleed the slave yet? Or are you about to do that? That's what we're trying to do. Trying Whoa. To get the cap off pop the, the top. Pop the top, Jip. You got to throw the shift turn and then... Uh, Jip, pop the top. Dude, once it breaks our blood, that's and that's all, you put it on the ground. I'm trying to get it on the ground, that's why. Hey. Every little stupid annoying thing's happening. What's it gonna do when it's on the ground? Burnouts. Burnouts? Burnouts? Excuse me? What? I what did you say? Break the clutch <laughs> then Bernie's. Redemption, redemption, redemption time? Redemption burn. Pay back the Cobra. First though. through eighth. <laughs> Just bled nice and tight. I'm about it. It's it's kind of late, but Drew is actually heading out to the bar with all his friends at school. We're gonna we're gonna do more of a celebration tomorrow for Drew. And uh, so we decided we're gonna head up to Bobby G's and uh, go help him out. He needs his gauges wired, so uh, saving the time and just banging out for him. So we're gonna go up there and I actually have to grab a few parts for the E36. So I guess let's just take the journey up there. I have my little stuff I need for wiring. So we'll head up there now. See you soon, Bobby G. Bobby G's old vert. Do you see it? It's all dark out, but... Oh, there it is. RIP. A lot of fun times. Bobby G. Hey. Nice and toasty in this bitch. Woo! -y. What is this? Oh, boy. Upgrade, boy. You happy? Yeah, I'm pumped. All right, let's get to work. Um, this is a 1993 Lexus SC300 with a 1JZ in it. Not even VVTI. Not VVTI. Dude, the swap is so clean. Why does it, it look is, like it so is. easy? Um, it is. I mean, it, it bolts in because it's a JZ motor. And it's a wiring specialties harness, so. Oh. And Bear talked to Bear's previous owner. He oh, okay, yeah, Bear, Bear is nice with everything. Yes. He Shout out, Bear. <sighs> Kit coming soon. These things look like a giant pickle to me. It's, it's a really clean chassis. Yeah, there's like no rust or anything underneath at all. Like the rockers aren't are like barely even crushed from like gas. Bobby G said, screw the stock cluster. <laughs> Why the hell not? So we made this Johnny right here. We have water temp, oil pressure, attack, a boost gauge, and an AFR gauge. All your prime gauges for a drift car. We don't need a fuel gauge. We gotta figure these out. We gotta, we gotta wire these up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these all in one power bank, just so if something happens, happens to all of them. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna wire them up to the sensor itself. Let's get to work. Here's something cool outside. Sounds like an RB. Hey, this thing looks awesome. Well, let me hear some noises. So healthy. Dude, that sounds so good. Yeah, it's still supposed to be breaking in. Is this a victory, <laughs> victory run right here? Pretty much. <laughs> Dude, a simple hatch on grids is just such a good looking car. So clean. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. What a nice surprise. Yeah, boy. 
The heat feels nice, right? Yeah. This is one of the first time you've driven it? Uh, as RV, yeah. As RV, yeah. That is so sick. Congrats, dude. See how big RV25s look in this thing? It's a long boy. Touching the firewall back there and almost touching the radiator up here. It's a long boy. That's so awesome. Guys, so I have this all wired together right here. So I put, I essentially brought them all together and put them into one harness. So we have one ground, one constant power, and one switch power. Now you could wire these to have a dimmer on them, but Bobby G's not gonna run that. It's basically gonna be full light all the time. Now the last thing we have to do is hook up the sensors themselves. What's nice about the gauges is they have their own harness, so we don't have to really splice anything into each other. Kind of just like mock them up, plug them in. Now, for the boost gauge, it's really easy. Put a vacuum line in here, plug it in. The tack has one wire, and it's gonna be like the signal for the tack. Uh, luckily, his wiring switch, his harness actually has this like already in there. It's kind of just chilling right here. So we just have to splice into that one wire. And then same for coolant temp sensor and oil pressure sensor. This should be have an external sensor on a separate harness that just plugs into it. So we just gotta basically mount those up. Easy peasy. All right, guys, ready? You got some power. There it is. It's power time. Now this one actually has its own like, has like this like controller box, which basically you have to put the power to and then it sends power to this. So we'll uh, we'll power that on another circuit later because it's like a whole unit thing. Good spot for it. Let's go drifting. <laughs> Coming up here is basically our sensor wires, which is gonna give the signal to the gauges to tell it what the frick to do. Now, this one goes to the driver's side of the car, so that's why we have it kind of snaking on its own. These all go to the passenger side, so we're gonna run these basically through the dash. Somehow. Oh God, we got, we're stuck in something. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. It's nothing. Open downpipe right now. That sounds so good. Hype. I need a 1J in my life. Holy crap. Ugh. I'm so hyped. Now that the heater's off, okay, Bobby's car is insane. I can't get over how clean it was. Uh, I'm so I'm so happy for him. Bobby had the E36 Vert last season. This is a huge step up. E36s are fantastic drift cars, like they are, especially a stock one like that for a coming like great learner chassis. Like learner chassis, exactly. I'm super stoked on this. Is gonna be, dude. I need a one J in my life. Holy crap. You do, man. You do. But this is Bobby. This is Bobby Gzak backyard. This thing is so sick. It was probably built in what the 70s. Oh, uh, like late 70s, early 80s, I believe. So, Bobby G's, Bobby G's dad is a badass. He actually used to race, <laughs> what would you consider them? Um, like pro stock, like modifieds. And look, look, I mean, you can see all around. He's got like trophies, like, look at that. Dude's insane. Papa G, if you're watching this, you're the man. Look at that. Look at this toolbox. The legend himself. <laughs> Oh, I hate you. Bobby G's verts outside, and it's a little cold outside. Ain't cold. It's it's a little dark out too. I'm blinded by the light. There we go. All right, Bobby G's vert outside right here. We're gonna try and take the door off real quick because uh, we're gonna throw this on my car if we can. We're gonna take this door. Hopefully, throw it in the Audi, and I'll have a good working passenger door. Sick. And one. And here we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, this is Cut stupid. It. Oh, on this stupid freaking dampener. Oh, that's like an awkward oh. position to his back scream and cut it. <laughs> I, I, cut how do it. I get the dampener out? Cut it. Just Jeez. rest it down. There we go, Bobby. How do you get that out? Yeah. Oh, it just pull out? Yeah. Oh, it <laughs> definitely does not just pull out. Well, the camera died <laughs> mid door, but we got it off. So, <laughs> thank you for the door, Bobby G. Thank you for the help. <laughs> so I'm going to have a green door, but at least I have a working door, which is fantastic. So my window will actually work and uh, 
it won't look like crap. It's just green. So today was great. We got to wire up the gauges for Bobby G. Fucking hot. Okay. Right. <laughs> I love you, Jimmy. Love you too. Good luck with this thing. Thank Thank you. You. See you later. Can't wait to see you at the shop. Have a good night. Bye. So the door's pretty clean. I just noticed it has a pretty big like dent right here. I don't know if like it's a huge issue or not. I like I said, I, you guys know I'm still new with bodywork. So I'm gonna talk to Brian Hall, see if it's worth it. If not, I could always pick up another door. These doors aren't that hard to find. So okay. Today was a pretty sporadic day. It was a good day. Drew's birthday, so make sure you guys go on Drew's Instagram at Drew Sears and wish him a happy birthday. Um, we're gonna be doing more birthday stuff this weekend. Um, a little sporadic, went up to Bobby's, hooked him up with the gauges. I'm super, super, super excited for that car. And of course, we're still tinkering on DJ's car. Never stops. Never stops. No, but Bobby is gonna kill it this season. I'm super stoked for him. <sighs> guys, I feel like I've been letting you down on this. I just, I, it's, you know what? I just gotta take one of those days where I just kinda come in the shop and just bang out a crap ton of work, don't even film it, just get it done. Cause this needs to be painted so we can get things moving. I'm slacking. Whatever, okay. That's it. I don't know. Thank you for staring at my pimple all day. But you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And... And what? what? And what, Donald? Come on. And... and have a good night. Duh.